CD2. Reading and Vocabulary Series 3, Cause and Effect, 4th Edition, by Patricia Ackert and Linda Lee. Copyright 2005, by Thompson Heinley, a part of the Thompson Corporation, all rights reserved. Unit 4, Science. Unit 4, Lesson 1, Biospheres in Space. Will it ever be possible for people to live on faraway planets such as Mars? In the past, colonies in space were possible only in science fiction stories. Today, however, we're experimenting with ways to build real space colonies. Many scientists actually consider it possible that people will live far from the Earth sometime in the future. The Environmental Research Laboratory at the University of Arizona is one place that designs biospheres. Bio means life, and a sphere is a circle, like a ball, which could be used to live on other planets. Biospheres are complete, enclosed environments where people can be born, live their whole lives, and die without returning to the Earth. To be successful, a biosphere has to have a perfect balance among everything within it the plants, the animals, including humans, and the chemical elements. Specialists and experts from many different fields are needed to work on these complex projects. Building a greenhouse for growing plants in winter is the first step in creating a biosphere. A greenhouse is a closed environment except for the sun's heat entering through the glass or plastic. Of course, there is a water system from outside, and people bring in nutrients for the plants and take out the waste material. A biosphere in space will have to have its own system to provide water that can be used and reused. It will need bacteria or something else to take care of the wastes. Everything must be perfectly balanced, or else the whole system will break down. The Earth itself is the best example of a real biosphere. Nothing important enters except sunlight, and nothing leaves as waste except some heat. Everything in the Earth's environment needs to be in balance. If we destroy that balance, the system will break down. There are several reasons for building biospheres. One reason is to help out when there is an energy shortage. Dr. Gerard K. O'Neill, a famous physicist from Princeton University, has said that in the future we will have satellites in space to produce solar energy and send it to the Earth. It'll be too expensive to continually send people and materials to the satellites, so biospheres will be necessary. He thinks that 10,000 people could live in a space colony sometime in the future. There's another interesting reason to build biospheres. We can use them to do all kinds of research about our own environment and how it works. By studying biospheres, we can understand better what will happen as humans destroy tropical forests, as they create more carbon dioxide by burning fuel, and as they pollute the oceans and the air. So far, only a few experimental biospheres have been built on Earth. One is in Oracle, Arizona, near the University of Arizona. In 1991, four men and four women tried to live inside the biosphere without getting anything from outside. During the experiment, things got out of balance. Oxygen and carbon dioxide levels fell, and the crew had to get help and supplies from outside. In space, people living in a biosphere would not be able to do this. Learning how a biosphere works is one of the most important things we can do. The information we get from biospheres may keep us from destroying our own environment. This information will also help us to travel where once only science fiction could go.